So, <coughs> trying to demonstrate the feature. Um, this is a static test and it's the same as when you're driving it along. Um, so, what we can he see here on the left hand side, we've got the command which is the command power um, variable. 127 is no assist or regen. If it goes up to uh, higher than that is um, increased uh, pulse width modulation up to 90%, which is 227, and lower than that is regen uh, down to 27. Uh, battery amps, and then I've got the motor RPM, so you can see the revs the motor is doing and the state of charge. And the uh, LTP on the right hand side is the pack voltage. So, if I command manual assist while we're sitting here, the motor will rev up to a certain amount of revs uh, with the amps that the IMAC, uh, the uh, IMA is able to provide, and it will get stuck at uh, this point here. It will get stuck at 1900 RPM approximately, a current of about 30 amps, and the IMA is just not able to provide any more current at that RPM. Now, if I then gently feed in throttle while applying maximum assist command you'll see as the revs rise slowly 2000 the current still continues to pull slightly eventually we'll hit the sweet spot and away we go and then the rpm can sustain and then as you saw then the rpm you know, jumps up high and the assist you know, comes in with a vengeance and then it's self-sustaining so it's just over about 2000 RPM where the low point is, 22 maybe. And then above that, the current then starts to rise um, for the IMA and then it all becomes self-sustaining and it gets into a runaway situation and the uh, IMA is able to drive the motor to the higher RPM as you saw. And that's exactly the same in the CVT car. And it's the same um, with the non-current hack. Um, but just all just at lower currents basically <coughs> so that is the feature with this lower pack voltage and this particular car is running a voltage fooling mod so the voltage you see here LTP 112 is actually uh, the car actually sees that voltage plus 48 volts so when you uh, start requesting assist and that drops down the car sees that drop so, if I, so there we are I'm commanding full assist and it's stuck at 28 amps, 29 amps at about 1800 RPM. If I um, whack it in quick, you, there is a, you can't quite see it unfortunately, but on the road where the response is slower, it will uh, pull 100 amps below the 2000 RPM, but when it reaches that 2000 RPM point, the current falls away to that minimum, which is just over 2000 RPM, and then it uh, gets stuck there in the doldrums until the motor RPM rises. So if I command maximum assist again, see I'm commanding maximum assist, and it can't push the motor RPM against the pumping losses over 1800 revs, but if I apply a little tiny bit of throttle, you get up over the sweet spot, uh, the other way it goes. So there you see the phenomena. It's the same, as I say, in the CBT as in the manual, uh, and it's the same with the out without the current hacks as with the current hack. So it's clearly probably where the square wave is changing at a sign or whatever. It doesn't affect um, regen. You can regen right down from high RPM to virtually nothing at very high currents, uh, which is probably to be expected because regen is more, probably more efficient now. The motor voltage is quite that much higher than the battery. Um, so that's the situation we have. I think, I suspect as John's mentioned, it's probably a problem in the pre-driver, um, whether that can be sorted or not. It doesn't really matter too much to me. I, just, I don't really think it's too much of a problem. Um, it doesn't inconvenience me that much. And in the CVT, you don't notice it anyway, because it operates in a different part of the engine RPM um, band, and you don't notice the uh, problem at all there. Because when you put your foot down, the CVT always revs the engine, and uh, that gets you over that uh, dead zone, if you like. <coughs>